Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, back with another NHL 15 Hockey Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I brought you something a little bit different, a team build. I've done these before in the past, uh, and today, today's the draft. Today is the NHL entry draft, a huge draft of some really skilled players. So I thought it'd be cool to put together a team of the top prospects that are in HUT, all right? There are some, there's obviously some European players and some players who are actually in the, like, OHL, but aren't in HUT. So I just got together all the hut cards I could of players that are in the draft. Um, and I guess, well, not just draft in the first round or second round. In the first two rounds, all these players are ranked from. I'll go through each one. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of them. I don't know all of them. I haven't seen all of them play. I haven't heard of a couple of them. So I'm not going to talk about those guys. I'm not going to pretend I know shit I don't. A lot of the OHL guys I know a lot about. So I'll talk in briefly about them, what I think about them. Uh, and... Basically, this is to show you if your team drafts one of these players and you want to use this hut card, I'll show you if he's in hut. There you go. That, that kind of sums it up pretty quickly. Uh, but let's get started with Marner. So, by the way, guys, I did I all the rankings. I saw the rankings I mentioned where they ranked are all off the NHL website. That's where I went to get their draft rankings and the players that are ranked high. So, yeah, we're starting with Marner. Marner, if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge fan. Huge London Knights fan, uh, and currently he is ranked six overall, which I think he will go a lot higher than that. I think because the Leafs are at number four. I think okay. Here's what I'm thinking: if Arizona doesn't trade away their number three pick, which I haven't yet when I'm making this video, Marner will go to the Leafs because Phoenix will draft. Sorry, not Phoenix. Arizona will draft Strom. Marner will go to the Leafs. That that is my hoping. That is what I hope, and that is what I truly believe will happen. Marner, small guy, but Watching him play, I've watched Patrick Kane play in junior. I've watched Marner play in junior. They are honest to God. They play so similar, it's scary. And that is, that is really why I want Marner to go to the Leafs. I know he'll be a great player. I'm so confident with watching him play. He's small, but he's so is Patty Kane. He's bigger than Patty Kane was when he was drafted. So just putting that out there. Take from that what you will. Uh, so there's that. Then there's your boy, Connor McDavid. Obviously... Obviously going first overall to Edmonton. There's no way Edmonton trades that pick. He's going to first. He will help put that franchise on the right track. Hopefully, like Crosby put, uh, Pittsburgh on the right track. That is what I believe. McDavid, dude only played half the year and he still got MVP. Still almost led the league in scoring. It's ridiculous how talented this kid is. He'll go first. He will be a superstar for years and years to come. Then you got your boy Kraus, who's ranked fifth. Overall, there's no way, no way he goes fifth. I, I just can't see it happening. I've watched him play a handful of times, I think four, maybe five times over the last two years, and I just, I don't get the hype with him. I don't get how people have him so ranked so big. He's a big boy. What is he? He's like 6'4", 215 or something like that. I think he's 215, 6'4". He's huge, yes. But he's only put up like, he, he had 51 points this year. That's good. But that's not, like, that's just not elite. That's not a top 10 pick, especially in this year's draft, it being so good. I can see him falling. I think he'll be a 9-10 pick, but there's no way he's top 5. If he's top 5, I'll I'll just, I, I'm not, I was going to say I'll deactivate, but there's no way. But I just don't see it happening. I don't see the hype with Kraus. I've seen him play. I don't get it. Then there's your boy Strom, uh, teammate of McDavid. Now Strom, he's going to be a solid NHL player. Is he better than Marner, though? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I've seen him play three times, I think, now. Three times. And I, I, I don't... Three times this year. He plays on a really good team, and he has some really good teammates. He doesn't play in a lot of McDavid, so I'm not going to say use that card. I know that. Unless... I've, I've never seen him play with McDavid, except besides on the power play. Uh, but I just... I don't see the hype with Strom either. He's going to be a good player. You know what? I see his hype more than I see Krause's. He's going to be a top five pick. He'll be a good second line center. Like a really good second. He'll be like an O'Reilly. That's what I think. He, he won't be. I think Marner will end up being a much better player than him, though, in the NHL. That's just my opinion. That's just what I've seen. He, I just don't see the hype with Strom. Again, I see. I see. No, that's a lie. I see hype. Just not the hype I see with Kraus. And then there's your boy, Travis Konecki. I think it is Konechny. I'm not going to. I'm not saying I know how to say it. It's, it's kind of a tough name to say. Seen him play once. All right? Pretty good. I mean, looking at his stats throughout his first two years in the OHL, almost identical. 70 points his first year, 68 his second, played three more games his first year, minus 15 his first, 
minus one a second. So he obviously worked on his defensive skills uh, second year. Well, I saw him play once. He stood out, though. He looked like a solid player. Uh, he is ranked 14th in uh, skaters. That's not including goal. He's 14th in skaters, so I think he's 15th, I guess. I think I think there's a goalie above them. But, hey, that's that's a solid, solid player, I think. I think he'll turn into a solid NHL player. Uh, he's got the size. He's got the grit already. Well, he's 5'10", 175. He can grow. That's that's, a, that's usually that's the average for NHL prospects at draft time, I think. So I, I, I'm, I'm confident Konecki will be a solid player as well. And then there's Daniel Sprong. All right. First of all, I love that last name. Now, oh, solid hunt card too, not going to lie. <laughs> that doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter when it comes to drafting him. Uh, comes out of Charlottetown. Put up 30 goals rookie year in the queue and 39 this year. That's that's a solid scoring player from what I hear. I've never seen him play. From what I hear, though, he can put the puck in the back of the net. And when it comes to that, you can't go wrong at all. He's listed at six foot 180 in the draft uh, ranking here. Solid size to him. I don't think you can go wrong with that pick either. Now, Merkley heard a little bit about it. Sounds like a good player. Uh, he's ranked... Oh, where is he? I just saw him. I just had him... He's ranked 23, so just behind Sprong. I could see him moving up a little bit. I don't know too much about him. I'm going from what I hear. Sounds like a solid two-way player. And there's your boy Barzal. Barzal, one of the best tuck cards in his team belt. I guess second or third best. He's got that rare bronze coming in. That's pretty nice, not going to lie. <laughs> but again, uh, 57 points in 44 games this year. 12 goals, 45 assists. He sounds like a playmaker. Never see him play. But sounds and looks like a playmaker to me. Uh, also, he is ranked 11, so he's above all these guys. He'll probably I can see him in the top 10. I can see him sliding in the top 10 from what I hear. Uh, but you know you have to wait and see. You never know. It depends on what every team wants. And then there's Paul Bittner. Now Bittner plays in Portland, so obviously his, his stats can be a little inflated. Portland is an extremely good team out in the Western Hockey League every year. And he played with great players there, uh, with Borgestad, Batan, some guys like that. He was able to put up 71 points, 34 goals, 27 assists. Played three full years in the WHL already, so he's got some experience under his belt. Coming right out of the draft, right into the W. That's a tough hit in league out there. So he is 6'4", 20, no, not 6'4", sorry, 6'4", 204, which is, oh, no, I'm sorry, he is 6'4". Wow, that's big boy. That's that's a solid guy. He can score, drive harder than that. I don't think you can go wrong with that. He is ranked 26 too, so just inside the first round. Obviously, stats a little inflated with the uh, 34 goals this year, playing on such such a good team. Uh, cannot stress that enough. Portland every year in and out. Actually, a, a cool stat I saw when I was looking at him. Every year he's played in the WHL, which is all three years. He's played over 17 games each year in the playoffs, which is that's a lot of playoff experience. That's a full season almost, pretty. Pretty much right there, like just I guess a shortened season, but that's that's a lot of games to play in the playoffs. So it's a lot of playoff experience, which can come to value of some teams in those later rounds. I'm moving on to defense. I've heard of Pillon a little bit. Hard heart. He seems like a big guy. I'm pretty sure. Uh, two oh six, six foot two oh two. Uh, yeah, a big guy. I've never seen him play again, but from what I hear, he's a hard hitting guy. Uh, a really good two way defender though. So I'm not just saying that because that's his hot card. That's just what I've heard. <laughs> just look at his hot cards. I'm just going straight off that. What I think about players. No, I'm just kidding. I've heard a couple things about him. Sounds like a good player. Really haven't heard of any of these guys besides uh, Van Sample. I saw him play in the Memorial Cup Finals. I didn't see. I saw on TV. I didn't go. I can't. I'm not that rich. Come on, guys. But I saw him play on TV, and he seems like for a young guy, they relied on him pretty well, and he he held. Uh, he held it back pretty good. Had some good scoring chances on D. And uh, was pretty solid defensively, surprisingly, actually. So good for him. And then the goal is to have our uh, Booth and Blackwood. Blackwood, honestly, this guy is going to be a stud. Already being a top five goalie in the OHL this year. And not even being drafted yet. That's that's pretty impressive, I must say. I think this guy will be an outstanding NHL goalie one day. Uh, I can see him going in the top ten. If someone needs a goalie, they're going to take him. Uh, so, I, you know, just I, you just keep an eye out for him. I can see him going early, and I can see him being in NHL in two, three years, maybe maybe longer. But he, he will be an NHL goalie. Uh, I'll put my hand down to that. So, anyways, guys, kind of different. I mean, I didn't really, I can't really show any gameplay. I didn't play a game with them. But I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see what players will be coming up in the draft. This is the fourth line. I didn't really talk about any of them. But see, I see. Yeah, these guys are gonna be in the draft tonight. If your team picks up one of these guys, 
and you want them on your team so you know if these guys are in hut uh so i hope you guys enjoyed smash the like button if you did subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace out